Okay. Tiffany's going to give us a review on this book. So you know here at African Ocean Homestead, we're all about growing your own food. Yes. So she's reading a book, Farming While Black, mm -hmm. while she's here at African Ocean Homestead and join her stay in the beautiful island of Zanzibar. <laughs> so Tiffany, what, why did you choose this book? Yes, so Farming While Black is by Leah Penniman and she's a black farmer in the States. And oh. she basically made this guide to put together everything you can think of, possibly, possibly think of, of topics to cover when it comes to growing your own food and being mm. sovereign on land. Okay. So it goes from everything from the practicals of like actually growing different crops and like what's necessary for those mm. down to like how do you find land that you may need if you mm. want to start and like go somewhere different and start your own land project. Mm -hmm. um, how do you fund it? How do you make a business plan for it? Mm -hmm. Even down to like some things that you normally aren't covered in most like Topics like down to like honoring the spirits of the land, how do you hold ceremony and healing ceremony on the land? There's oh. even recipes in here for like how to use some of the food, um, crop planning. So, what would like it give us an example of one of the ceremonies? Do you know mm. any? Have you? So, this far, as far as the ceremony, one they give you a lot of like different, um, they also have a lot of historical context too, like uh -huh. what people across the diaspora have uh -huh. done in relation to land um like like libations yeah libations. like before you plant before like you come to the land mm -hmm. or like before you purchase the land and stuff like that okay we have to do one of those because i didn't, like do that. That. Yeah. I didn't do that yeah i didn't do that and i know better i did for my house though mm -hmm. i did for my house mm -hmm. um one of the things that my great grandmother always said um is that you put money in the corner. Mm. So I have money in the corner mm. of my house. And um, when, pe when people finish working, mm -hmm. you take salt and mm -hmm. you sweep out your house and mm -hmm. sweep out, you know. Mm -hmm. The only thing I didn't do, I didn't burn, I haven't burned sage mm -hmm. in my house. But yeah, but uh, no, I didn't do the land. Also, I didn't like do singing. it. Singing over the crops and stuff like that. Oh, so that okay. She has a list of lots of different songs from okay. across the diaspora, like Haitian songs, from uh -huh. other places of people, like what they were saying, like uh -huh. during harvest times or during planting times. Right. So, so mm -hmm. I guess her book, Farming While Black, is basically putting those like African traditions or spiritual traditions. That's what makes it different. Is there any other component that? makes a difference while farming while black yeah so it also gives a lot of um historical context like i was saying mm -hmm. before so like there'll be little blurbs kind of like this that mm -hmm. highlight so many different traditions and history that mm -hmm. i think a lot of us has has lost right and, um, well you <clears throat> we lost a lot of our farm traditions mm -hmm. number one because of the exodus exactly. you know a lot of people left the south or left left their family land or left the homestead to for greener pastures in the north um so we we've, we've lost a lot of that but we've also black farmers who were like farmers they stayed on their land they've lost so much land in the united yeah, states exactly. too just you know farming while black you don't get the loans you don't get the support from the government and sadly they don't even get support from black community like you know our collard greens and the state, we should always get them from a black, yes. but we, we don't support each other either, which is, which is bad. So I'm, I'm going to have to look at that book yes. when you're finished. So here again, you guys, I'm telling you, we, we have to maintain these traditions. We have to learn how to get back on the land yes. and grow some food, some food. So I'm going to show a picture of that book again. Let me see that close up. Farming while black. It's and like a the, textbook for growing your own food on land. See the, the purpose. You give me yes, a few of the chapters too. Well, just the context. Let's just do that. That's her table of contents. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna interview Tiffany later. <laughs> See how she enjoys staying here yes. on this. Uh, work in progress, work in progress. Mm -hmm. Oh, peace.